sights on. I like drone, twilight zone, fly like I'm stone. Yeah. They way gone, J way is known. Go hard, go home, get money long. My life up, flow like up, hoes like yup. I'm like fuck. Where's my phone? Come on, brothers. I know it's painful mm. to be a black man in America. Real pleasure was never meant to come from a woman. Mm. Listen, Listen, I'm going to say that again. Real pleasure was never meant to come from a woman. Women give men pleasure, but real pleasure comes from creative thinking and then seeing what you think come into reality by the work of your hands. That's real pleasure. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin, coming back with another one, man. And y'all already know the most hot and woke us up this morning. Let's take this opportunity to be great. Let me show y'all what he looked like, man. Yeah. Look at that, man. Look at that light. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's another cold one, but guess what? We see that light, so it don't even matter, man. We got that call to wake up. Listen, let's take advantage of that, man. Let's take advantage of this opportunity. But real quick, though, man, shout out to Lewis. Farrakhan, Minister Louis Farrakhan, man, for that message. Because there you have it. There you have it. Real pleasure does not come from a woman. You know what I'm saying? A lot of men growing up think that you get the ultimate pleasure from being with a woman. And that is not true. You know what I'm saying? Like he said, it comes from having a creative mind. It comes from having thoughts and seeing those thoughts play out. You know what I'm saying? At the work of your hands, bro. You know what I'm saying? You ever worked on something so hard, right? And then all that hard work paid off. All that hard work that you put in, all them blood, sweat, and tears that you done put out and poured out come to fruition and you reap the benefits from that, bro. That is real pleasure. When you, hurt, when, when you put in work, right? which is what we talk about on this channel, putting in work, and you start to see some of the benefits from your actions, you mean to tell me you don't get a dopamine release from that? Yeah, we get the ultimate dopamine release from that. You know what I'm saying? That's why it was so important to reprogram our mind. See, in the power, right? We was bought up and brainwashed so bad to think that we got so much pleasure from being with a woman, right? Even when we wasn't with women, we got pleasure from just watching women on these screens, watching them on videos through pornography. And we would get pleasure through that as well. That's why it was so important to reprogram. That's why it was so important to, to jump on NoFap, jump on SR, so you could get that shit out of your database. You know what I'm saying? So you can refocus on what real pleasure is, which is what Minister Louis Farrakhan is talking about. You know what I'm saying? That is the, that is the ultimate pleasure. You know what I'm saying? So I want y'all to keep that in mind moving forward, man. It was so important to be on this journey. And it is. And it's, and it's just as important to maintain this journey and be on this throughout your life because if you go back to having that same mindset to where you know the best feeling in the world is being with a woman if you think like that bro listen you never going to get you never going to get you never going to get the things in life that you always wanted you know what i mean you never going to take anything out of this life you never going to get the uh to live out the full potential that you could possibly live out because you too busy seeking the pleasure from a woman, which means you already know once you have that mindset, you are willing to do anything, you know, even disrespect yourself. A lot of us don't like to talk about that, but that's what we were doing. We were disrespecting ourselves. We was disrespecting the most high. And not only that, not only that, from the things that we were indulging in, it was causing us to look at women as objects. And that's not a good thing either. 
I don't care how many of y'all come on this channel and try to bash women and all that. It's still not right to to treat them a certain type of way or view them as objects because they are the vessels that carry our seeds. You know what I'm saying? We all have belly buttons, just like Dante Young say. So with that being said, we all came through a woman. So it corrupts our mind. We was corrupting our mind in that sense too. But still, we was disrespecting ourselves by pedestalizing these women, by constantly validating these women and focusing on these women rather than focus on ourselves and, uh, and our goals and stand on our purpose and uh, uh, focusing on the things that's important to us that should be more important to us as men. So as soon as you get lost, man, as soon as you get lost into all of that, that's soon as that that that's 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 when you become lost in general, bro. You become all around lost once you put all your energy into seeking the pleasure of a woman when you should be seeking the pleasure uh that you would get from being creative the the pleasure of staying on your 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 purpose your grind you know the the pleasure of creative thinking you know the the, the pleasure of creating things with your hands and you know seeing that seeing those things play out seeing those things come to reality just from the thoughts that you had in your mind you know what I'm saying? That is the best pleasure that you could ever get. That's why, listen, that's why this journey is another reason why it's so important to be on this. Because if you are a creator, right, when you hold your energy in, guess what? That's when you are at the most creative in your life you know what i'm saying that's when you are the most creative because you have all of that energy you have everything you need you got the whole thing brewing inside of you all that creative thinking all of those creative thoughts you know what i'm saying all of those ideas you're not you're not focused on any other bullshit around like i said when you're on a journey like this you have extreme focus so all of those creative juices get the flowing and listen that's when you at your most creative but when you emptied out when you emptied out you got your energy you lost all your energy from fapping or just from giving it to uh, random women from an overactive sex life you're not gonna be as creative as you would be when you was holding in your energy you know, you're not going to be able to, 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 to knock things out. You ain't going to be able to go to the gym and work on your body and, and be able to have a sound mind to make good rational decisions or, you know, be able to create anything because you empty. You don't even have enough vitamins. You got brain cloud. You know what I mean? Your social anxiety kicked in. All of those things that come with losing your energy and, and, and being reckless with your life force, bro. So you got to understand that moving forward, man. Louis Farrakhan is not lying. You know what I'm saying? If you ever created anything, if you ever worked on anything, if you've been hitting the gym hard, hell, if you just started working, working out in the room, if you just started working out in your room, bro, and you just started using your little curl, your little curl dumbbells, and then next thing you know, you start to see that muscle, them cuts come in. Listen, it, that, listen, that's one of the best feelings in the world because you did that. You created that. You picked those weights up and you put in that work. You know what I'm saying? You an artist. You picked that pencil up and you got to drawing. You know what I mean? You do music. You know what? You started writing and you started hitting the studio more. And then, listen, man, one of the best feelings, right, about music, right? You start up here, you know? You get a beat, you write to that beat, you know? You write what you write to that beat. You go to the studio, right, and you lay it down. You get that music, right? Because nine times out of ten, you either leaving with it on a thumb drive or if some people still old school, they leaving with it on a CD. When you go to the car, because one of the best places to listen to your work is in the car. You know what I'm saying? You can hear all of the levels, right? Exactly how it's supposed to be hitting and shit like that. So when you listen to the product that you did in the car, listen, and that shit come out. Uh, like you thought it would Or even better Because a lot of the times It come out better than what you thought Listen bro That is one of the greatest feelings in the world Because it started up here That's when you learn how creative you are That's how you learn How much of a genius you are But you gotta activate those genius genes 
You got to activate those things. Those things, everybody has a level of genius. But when you so caught up into this outside world and all these superficial things and all of these hoes and these thoughts and all of the nonsense that's going on. Listen, that creative, those creative genes just sink deeper and deeper and they don't get used. It's almost like putting food in a freezer, right? It's like putting food in a freezer, but you don't eat meat. You never eat. You don't really eat nothing. You never home. You don't never even get a chance to enjoy it. It's never getting used. You know what I'm saying? Almost like stashing a bunch of guns, but you never even shoot them shits. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, like, what's the point? You know what I mean? What's the point? So you got to understand that everybody got some genius in them. Jay-Z said it too. Everybody has a level of genius, but it's up to you to activate that. You know what I mean? And, and and the things that we were on and what we was out here chasing and what we thought, you know what I mean? Pleasure was, man, listen, that ain't it. That ain't coming from no woman. That's coming from you. You know what I mean? Real pleasure, you know what I mean? Comes from you, not from a woman. Not from a woman, bro. That's why it's important to work on you so you could meet these goals that you have. So you can see your life play out. So you can see your, the, the, the fruits of your labor with, through your hard work, man. Your blood, sweat, and tears, like I said earlier, bro. That's the all that, that listen, that's the ultimate pleasure. These chicks, we already got this point where they think that they are it. They think that they the ones that will provide us with the pleasure that we need to keep us going. And you got a lot of men that coincide with that. And guess what? They life getting ran down the fucking uh, uh the fucking abyss. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what's going on. They in the darkness right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's tough for them to crawl out because they had that mindset. So do not have that mindset where you think women will give you the best pleasure. No, you will give yourself the best, the, the best pleasure by being a creator, by working hard, by seeing that, seeing your hard work play out and, and, and come to reality, bro. When you see that shit come to reality, let me know how you feel. Because it, listen, pussy can't do that. Pussy can't do that. That gives you a brief moment to where you feel good until you bust that nut. And then it's gone away. When you create something, it's there forever. And remember that moving forward, all right? And that's my word, man. My name is and Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. All day. I'ma keep putting in work, yeah, that's all day. Uh, I'm in uh, here to do my job, yeah, that's all day. That's all day. What I do all ain't day. a facade, this is all J. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. I'ma keep putting in work, yeah, that's all day. I'm in here to